Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you're all having a good one. Uh, pretty interesting one today. Um, this is not a bulb of some sorts, but a fixture for a bulb. This actually is a, um, a forge. Uh, it's called the Light Tracer by Artograph. Okay, we get a, a close-up. Look at that. Light Tracer by Artograph. If we go ahead and flip it over here, we can look at some of the specs on this forge. Minneapolis, 120 volts, 60 hertz, 0.2 amps. It uses an F8T5. It's an 8 watt bulb. Um, never heard of the name before, Artograph. Never heard of that before. But what's cool about this is if you see this switch right here, you see you got the on position right here, but it's actually a three way. Look. Can you see that? And I'll show you why. It's actually really cool. This is actually has a manual preheat on here. This uses a uh, an F8 T5 bulb, like I just said. And if you look down in here, you can see there's the bulb. There's the bulb in there. Obviously, there's a mirror up here. Hello. There's a mirror up here to reflect all the light to go up here into this. I obviously drew the forge on here. Um, I've had this thing for so long. But if we go ahead and turn the lights off, we can see this thing in its preheat glory. Let me turn off the other lights. And let's get this thing a go. So I'm gonna turn it on to the position right now. That's on, and if I hold it to all the way to the right, you can see, you can see the edges only light up, and when I let go, it lights up. Now, of course, it takes a little while for it to warm up. This bulb doesn't have many hours on it either. Um, for fun, I was just messing around and I threw the bulb that was in the uh, the GE Slimline one, this warm white one, and I threw the bulb that's in here in here, and it looked a lot better. I think what I'm going to do is with this one, I'm going to convert it to a black light, and I'm just going to put a black light bulb in it. I think it'll be pretty cool. It'll serve a practical use. Um, but anyway, I thought we could take this open and take a look inside of what it looks like because I'm pretty curious. So let's go ahead and do that. So before we do anything, I'm just going to go ahead and take this little diffuser off. And uh, once again, you can see the bulb in there. There it is. You can see it right here. It's pretty cool, though. Pretty cool. Um, four screws hold it down. Actually, five screws. If we go ahead and take it off, we can see inside. Not too much to look around inside of it, though. As you can see, I've already tried to take it apart. Well, I already did. But I didn't know what I was looking at, so. But now I know what I'm looking at. I think, I think that's it. Yeah. yeah. Look at that little tiny ballast. Can you see that? All right, let's take these screws out. I said five screws, only three screws hold them in. Hold it in this top piece. Look at that little tiny ballast. Oh, and look at this. Look right here. You can't see it, but. No, no, that's the bulb. I thought that was the starter. <laughs> anyway, I think we can uh, go and turn it on. We can see. Um, I don't know if this thing has a starter. Maybe it's integrated. I don't know. I don't see a starter on here weird of course they're just wire nutted on typical it's cheap uh, let's go ahead and turn it on while it's like this see what happens let's turn it off oops no starter huh does anybody know why that is? That's pretty interesting. There's no starter on here. It's just manual preheat. Huh. That's pretty cool though. Nonetheless, discharge it real quick. 
That's a cute little ballast, though. I might actually uh, reuse that for something. So, that was pretty uh, anticlimactic. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. There really isn't much else to see. I mean, I can install this thing back. Since I don't use this thing like ever, I'm probably just going to take off the ballast and do something else with it. I don't know. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video on this ancient relic that you probably can't find anymore. Well, I know you can't. Um, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like and maybe a subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day. Peace. Okay, video's not over just yet. I actually uh, just took the ballast out right here, this little bitty thing. It's very heavy, so it's obviously a, uh, a magnetic ballast, but I thought you guys might want to see what it says on here. Radionic Industries. I don't know what, uh, I never heard of that brand in my life. It's used for 6, 7, 8, and 9 watt bulbs, 0.18 amps, 120 volts. Type 1 outdoor. It's an outdoor type ballast. I don't know what that means, but look at this. Look how small this thing is. It's like a mini transformer. Anyway, I think I'm going to relocate this and reuse this thing with uh, another project. I may build a small fixture out of a. Um, a T5 bulb, an F8 T5. I don't know. I'll follow up with you guys and I'll show you guys what I did, redid this thing with. But listen, listen to this. Because this ballast is pretty much brand new. So, anyway guys, this is the true end of the video. Hope you all enjoyed. My name is Jacob and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day. Peace.